Hey friends, it's Brian here. It's uh, Palm Sunday 2022 and the winds are blowing and so the airplanes are flying over my house again and as you know the GoPro camera is very sensitive to engine noise from airplanes more so than people noise from talking. Anyway, so here's today's project. I got this old uh, battery charger. It's actually a really good battery charger, but the cables have seen, cable clamps have seen better days. What is it? It's a Schumacher. Um, you know, I've had this thing forever. So anyway, um, everything's gotten more expensive these days, so I bought it a set of nice new clamps. These look better than what came on it, and I bought some crimps to properly attach them, and I thought, well, you know what? Maybe now I can finally use this hydraulic wire crimping tool that I bought from Horrible Freight. Um, so I, it's probably not item 666150 anymore. Yeah, I'm being a smart aleck. Uh, but anyway, we're, we're going to repair this, and uh, I've even got some Schittsburg, uh wire strippers. Actually, they're not bad for what they cost, but everything at Horrible Freight's gotten expensive, and the quality, yeah, not so much. Um, anyway, so let me get set up, and uh, we'll, we'll do it to it. So first things first, uh, you know, if you're going to play with wires that carry electricity, make sure the power is turned off or things could get really exciting. But, you know, hopefully if you're going to work on stuff, you already knew that. You can't fix stupid, but you sure can bury it. Anyway, so we're going to have to start by messing with the one that's already messed up. So we're going to make a nice clean cut to get to some clean copper. And then we're going to take off maybe half an inch of insulation. This is the wrong tool for this, but it will get the job done as it did there. So we got some nice copper. Yeah, we lost a little bit. It'll be okay. And this is a hydraulic crimper, so the way these work, um, if you can get the lugs out, um, is that uh, it's a gauge set, so these are a AWG. This comes with a nice carrying case. It says it produces eight, funds, eight tons of force. Um, and I bought this for doing work on one of my buses. See, it's never even been out of the bag. I don't even know what that's for. We're not going to read the instructions because, quite frankly, if it doesn't work the way we expect it to without reading the instructions, well, then we'll have to actually read the instructions. So, 7AWG, we're close, but that's not the one we want. 14, 12, 10, 8. Woohoo! 8! Woohoo! Found them. So we'll be good and put them back in there for now because they'll probably get lost somewhere else later. So my guess is this goes in here like this, but man, that sure doesn't look like number eight to me. I better read the instructions. Stud size a quarter inch. I don't know what that means. Alright, so first let's try and figure out what the replacement parts are for. Mm -hmm. Still don't know. Alright, the uh, instructions really don't say anything that's meaningful. And here comes a Southwest airplane to interrupt our video. So you're supposed to put the wire onto the end of the lug, so that, that looks right. And then you're supposed to put the, the lug in here, and this is where it just doesn't make any sense. This doesn't even look remotely like it's the right size. Four. Is 
says cable lugs for AWG, and they clearly fit, but that just doesn't look right to me. Oh well, I guess we'll try it. We'll follow the instructions for a change and just see what happens. I don't think it's right. So we're going to stick that on there nice and tight. Turn that to on. And what should happen... So you gotta pump this from the side, and the spare parts are for the rebuilding this. So it's basically a little tiny hydraulic jack that's hand operated. Alright, mark my words, I told you I thought this was wrong, so we're fixing to find out. The only thing I don't like is it's real hard to get this positioned in here. So I'm going to squeeze the push the wire in. And then we're just going to crush it. So this is called swaging, <clears throat> and basically you're going to do it as tight as I possibly can. And I don't think it looks right, but I think it'll work. So that's the end product, and again, that don't look right to me, but yeah, here we are. Yeah, no, I didn't do that. So we're going to go ahead and cut this one off and replace the crimp. But before we do, let's go ahead and disassemble this so you can see what a factory crimp looks like. So the factory crimp looks like that. It's built into the handle. That's going to get recycled anyway. Not the plastic parts, but the rest of it will. There's no reason the metal can't get recycled. Now I am losing a little bit of copper, it, it will be okay. Sorry y'all can't see this, this is a little bit tough to do with two hands. So I'll insert the wire here after I get this fixed. Because part of what I'm trying to do is center it in the little tiny gap they left. I'm not sure the other one stayed centered when I crimped it. There we go.
yeah, I think this one's going to look a little better. If the handle was longer, this would be easier. Yeah, so that one definitely looks better. So the other one wasn't centered, but again, I think um, so that's definitely uh, a thing, and and I think it looks better if you turn it the right way. But it it clearly worked, and I'm not going to bother to replace it. I am going to second crimp this one though. I wonder why this unscrews. Oh, so you can add oil. All right. So that looks pretty good. Um, I think they'll both work. So I'm not going to bother to crush this one again. Um, I do need to go find the nut size for this. So I don't know where these were actually made, but I can tell you that the first rule of thumb is to always put Loctite or thread locker on anything you don't want to have to screw with again. These were actually made in the U.S., but I really can't tell. Um, all I can tell you is they weren't made by somebody that had to actually put them together, because if they were, they would have changed the design and made this a little bit more ergonomic. Try number three. There it goes. Um, so it's got a captive bolt in here, and it's just really hard to uh, line it up. And my me not me needing glasses makes it harder. So I'm using blue thread locker, which is semi permanent. millimeter nut. So these are Sparta clamps. I'll put the link in the description. Um, I do get a small referral fee from Amazon if you use those links. So that's awesome if you do. If you don't, whatever. So originally I bought these, these hydraulic crimpers uh, so I could make my own battery cables. And um, you know, I never got around to that, but I certainly will, and I think they do the job. Um, so I got a little, and definitely putting, definitely lining the crimp up makes it easier to get it in here as opposed to the first one, which I gaffed. It's still functional, so I'm not going to redo it. I'm just being lazy. I don't want to take it apart more than once. There we go. So that should do it. So, 
And I'm going to charge the batteries on the boss because, yeah, I hadn't started the boss in six months. So the batteries are, yeah, you guessed it, D-E-A-D, -E dead. So anyway, um, overall, I'd say this thing works. Um, and I'm going to store it so that my dies don't fall out. I'm going to store it like that because then you can't get the die, die out. So by storing it like that, the dies are loose, but they can't come out. And, uh, these are for if you need to rebuild it. Um, and I'm gonna show you where to store these in the box that goes into the recycling and trash. Because quite frankly, if I need to rebuild it, I'll buy another one. Um, and the instructions, completely worthless. Didn't explain how to use it or what you're supposed to do with it or how to size the crimps. So yeah, they go there, and then this will get buried somewhere in my collection. Thanks for watching. I hope you have a great day. Be sure to like or comment. Let me know what you think is good or what you think is stupid. As long as your comment's not completely obnoxious or spam, it'll get approved. Have a great day.